Hello dear viewers, welcome to another video tutorial of this YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on question number 5, which is coming from the ECZ examination for general certificate of education, ordinary level, additional mathematics, paper 2. And the paper that we're going to be considering, it is uh, the paper for the external candidates that they wrote in 2024. So this is the paper. That we're going to be considering in today's tutorial so let's now try to check where the question is located let's try to check where question number five is located the question that we're going to be interested in in today's tutorial it is falling under permutations and combinations it is falling under permutations and combinations so now let's try to check so that is the question that we're going to be interested in in today's tutorial it is question number five falling under permutations and combinations the question has two parts it has part a and part b Part a has further parts it has roman numeral one and roman numeral two so this question in total it is carrying eight marks and part a in total it is carrying five marks and then part b three marks in total bringing it to eight marks so now let's try to go through each and every part of this question we're going to start with the first part of this question which is part a part a states that in how many ways can 11 men and three women be put in a straight line if roman numero one there are no restrictions and then roman numero two no two women are together so this is uh, the first part of the question that we have and then let's go to another part another part which is part b part b states that a group of four students is to be chosen from seven males and three females find the number of ways of choosing at least three males so this is uh, the whole question we have gone through each and every part of this question so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to consider the solving but before we get into the solving i would like to remind you to subscribe to this youtube channel so that you are always going to be updated with the latest information don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you are to be notified when there is latest information on this channel don't forget to comment so that we can hear out your views and also don't forget to share so that others can also enjoy the tutorials of additional mathematics last but not the least you can like this video by giving it a thumbs up so now let's try to get into the solving it is question number five so this is the question so we're going to start with the first part of the question which is part a roman numero one so this one isn't even complicated so it states that in how many ways can 11 men and three women be put in a straight line if there are no restrictions so now if you are dealing with people if you are dealing with people and they have told you that there are no restrictions the only thing that you have to do is that you need to add you have you need to find the total number of people and then in such a case we have 11 men we have 11 men so we're going to say 11 men plus three women which will give us the total number of people so in such a case we're going to say 11 plus 3 so 11 plus 3 it will give us the value of 14 so what are you supposed to do with this 14 so we have 14 people in total what are you supposed to do with this 14 so you have to say that 14 factorial you have to say 14 factorial that's one thing that you need to keep in mind now what is the meaning of this this symbol which is factorial so this symbol is also found on the calculator this symbol is also found on the calculator so what is the meaning of this symbol which is factorial when you say 14 factorial what does it mean so when we say 14 factorial, it simply means that we are saying 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 like that. So that is the meaning of this statement, which is 14 factorial. So now. You can use your calculator you can just simply say 14 factorial you can just simply press 14 factorial it will give you the actual figure so 14 factorial it is uh, the same as 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so that is the meaning of this one which is 14 factorial now when you consider the calculations it will give you the value which is 8, 7, 1, 7, 8, 
ways like that so this is how you're supposed to answer such questions this is how you easily score marks for such questions i hope you have gotten the concepts now let's go to the next part which is roman numero two so roman numero two states that in how many ways can 11 men and three women be put in a straight line if no two women are together so we are given the condition that no two women must be together that's the condition that we're given so now what are we supposed to do in such a case so in such a case we're going to check if they tell you that no two women are together it means that the number of women must be less than or equal to that of men that's one thing that you need to keep in mind now is the number of women less than or equal to that of men yes that is correct so we can proceed so now let's try to check let's try to assume something we're going to first start by considering the men so we're given that we we have 11 men so i'm going to write 11 men so m is simply representing men like that so m is simply representing men so we have 11 men in total so we're first going to find the number of ways of arranging these men how can these men be arranged so in such a case we have 11 men we have 11 men those are the men that we have so what are we supposed to do with uh, these men we're going to say 11 factorial so we have 11 factorial or you can simply consider this way which is 11 p 11 we have 11 men and out of those 11 men we're going to have 11 seats these men are going to have 11 possible seats so that is why we have written 11 p 11 so in such a case it is 11 permute 11 so we have 11 men and we have 11 seats for men so it is the same 11 p 11 which is uh, 11 permute 11 is the same as 11 factorial that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so we are done with uh, the number of ways of arranging these men let's now go to another class or another group so in such a case we're going to consider the women so how can the women be arranged in a straight line how can they be arranged in a straight line so we're going to have those spaces those spaces that's where the women can be arranged so that's where the women can sit women can sit in those spaces that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so since we are given that we are told that we, no two women must be together so that is the reason why we we are putting those spaces they have told us that we, no two women must be together that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so where there are spaces that's where women can sit that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so in such a case we're going to say how many spaces do we have how many spaces do we have so in such a case we have 12 spaces we have 12 spaces so now the first woman is going to choose among those spaces the first woman is going to choose a seat among those 12 spaces that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so with the first woman is going to choose among the 12 seats so the the first woman can have 12 possible seats the first woman can sit anywhere among those 12 seats what about the second woman the second woman is going to have those spaces which are left so in such a case we have 11 imagine the first woman has already chosen a seat and is already there the second woman is going to choose is going to select a seat among the left seats so in such a case the seats which were left were 11 so that is where the 11 is coming from now let's try to consider the third woman so in such a case the third woman is going to choose among the seats which are left in such a case we have 10 seats is the number of women exceeding three so we are told that the number of women is three so we are not going to exceed three so we are going to end on 10 like that we have three women that is the reason
So now we can uh, try to consider this way. We're going to represent that in terms of permute to make our work easier. Now, how can this one be easier? So now, the way this one can be easier is that we're going to consider the number of men. We're going to consider the number of men. In such a case, we have um, 11 men. We have 11 men. So the number of men plus 1. So we have 11 men. So we're going to say 11 plus 1. So we're simply going to say 11 plus 1, which will give us the value of 12. So you can also write it in this way. We're going to say 12. In case you're wondering that where that 12 is coming from, so we are considering the spaces where the women can sit. That's where the 12 is coming from. We are considering the spaces where the, the women have uh, the possible seats. So that is why we said 11 plus 1, it will give us 12. So when, even when you count those spaces, it will give you the value of 12. That is where the 12 is coming from. After you have written that 12, the next thing that we are going to do is that you are going to write this symbol, which is P, which is simply representing permute. After you do this, what is the next thing? You are going to consider the number of women that we have. In such a case, we have three women. So we are going to write 3 there. We're going to say 12 permute 3. We're going to say 12 P3 like that. So 12 permute 3. So you can either, you can write 12 times 11 times 10, or you can simply say 12 permute 3. So both of these should give you the same answer. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind. So now, what is the next step? The next step that we're going to consider is that we're going to, to know the total. We're going to know the total. So now, you need to keep in mind that total is equal to ways of arranging men times ways of arranging women. That's the total. So in such a case, we already have the ways of arranging men. In such a case, we already found it as 11 factorial, or you can simply choose. If you want, you can simply choose 11P3, uh, 11P11. So in such a case, we have 11 factorial times the ways of arranging these women. So in such a case, we already found the ways of arranging these women as 12 times 11 times 10, or it can be 12 P3, 12 permute 3, you can choose. You can choose, but in such a case, we chose that one, which is 12 times 11 times 10. So that must give you the same answer as that. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind. So now the next thing that we're, we're going to do is that you are going to consider the calculations. In such a case, when you try to consider doing the calculations, it should give you the value, which is 52690176060. Ways like that. So, this is how you easily score marks in the exam. This is how you're supposed to answer such questions. So, this is how you easily score marks. I hope you have gotten the concept. So, now let's go to another part of this question, which is part B. So, part B states that a group of four students is to be chosen from seven males and three females. Find the number of ways of choosing at least three males. So, that is what we have there. We're going to go to the next part, which is part B. So now we're given that the total number of people, the total number of students to be chosen is, it should be four. So the total number of students to be chosen should be four students. And then we're going to check, we're given males. So we're going to start with the males. So we're going to say, out of seven males, out of seven males, we are told the condition that there must be at least three males. It must be at least three males. What does it mean when we say at least three males? What does it mean when we say at least? So when we say at least, it means that men should be greater than or equal to three. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind. When we say at least, it means that the number of men should be greater than or equal to 3. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind. So in such a case, if they are telling you that it should be greater than or equal to 3, we can simply start from this value itself, which is 3. So out of 7 males, we're going to choose 3 males. And then we're going to consider, the next thing that we're going to consider is that we're going to say, we're going to say 7 choose 3 times 
the number of uh, females so we have three females in total now out of these three females we're going to choose quite a number we're going to choose a number so now what number are we going to choose from these females so now you need to keep in mind that the total number of students to be chosen we have uh, we're given that it is four if we have already chosen three males how many students are we going to be left with so if we have chosen three males so now you need to keep in mind that the total number of students to be selected it should be four so we're going to be left with one for us to have the total itself which is four and then we're going to say plus so you need to keep in mind that the bottom numbers we have uh, in such a case we have three and one when you add three plus one it should give you the total which is four that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so now let's go to another part we're going to consider the second part which is um, after plus so we're going to say seven choose so what number are we going to put there what number are we going to put so now we're given the condition that it must be at least three males now if we already selected three so it must be more than three that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to consider four we're going to consider four so we're going to say seven choose four out of seven males we're going to choose four out of seven males we're going to choose four times and then how many females do we have we have three females so we're going to write three there and then out of three females we're going to choose how many what number are we going to choose so now since we already selected four males what number are we going to be left with we are given the condition that the group of students to be selected it should be four the group of students to be selected is four that's one thing that we need to keep in mind so meaning that when you add the number of uh, selected males and the number of uh, selected females it should give you the number itself which is four so if we have already selected four males what number are we going to be left with we are not going to be left with any number that is where the zero is coming from so in such a case we're going to say out of three females we're going to choose zero so that is where that one is coming from so you need to keep in mind that the bottom numbers when you add three plus one it should give you four students with the first when it comes to the first brackets and then when you also consider the second brackets four plus zero it should give you four okay so now the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to consider the calculations and the simplification so we're going to start with the first brackets so we're going to consider seven choose three so seven choose three it will give you the value which is 35 and then multiply it by we are going to say three choose one it will give you the value which is three and then there we're going to consider the second bracket so we're going to say seven choose four it will give you the value of 35 again we're going to consider the second case we're going to say three choose zero it will give you the value which is one so now let's try to do further calculations and simplification so in such a case we're going to consider the first brackets so when you consider the first brackets it will give you the value of 105 and then the second brackets it will give you the value of 35 and then after you do this what is the next step so the next step upon you doing this is that you need to do the calculations you need to do further calculations by simply adding you need to say 105 plus 35 it will give you the value of 140 so in such a case we have 140 ways so this is how you easily score marks in the exam this is how you easily score marks in the exam i hope you are clear if you are behind at any point always feel free to drop that in the comment section so this is how you easily score marks in the exam i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to like to share and to comment thank you for watching see you to another video tutorial